You know, the Youth Fitness Academy, it, it's modeled after a program that Alpena County has. Judge LaCrosse um, run, runs a Youth Fitness Academy as well, and we had an opportunity to, to visit that one. Um, so although we, we call both programs the Youth Fitness Academy, um, the way that we run ours is a little bit different. Um, you know, the, the juvenile probation staff, not Seattle County, uh, we facilitate our own program. Um, and that affords us the opportunity to, um, you know, work one-on-one -on -one with the kids and try to fill that mentorship role and develop uh, a better, stronger professional relationship. The, the goal is to create independence and good thinking to help them make good decisions. Um, through the different programs from the Youth Fitness Academy um, to the Healthy Living Program and other related items. Um, one part that we're looking at here would be the gardening aspect. You know, we had the children uh, build the, be the beds as well as um, kind of pick out the plants that they wanted and put in the soil. They did the planting, which also included um, them kind of planning how far apart each seed was going to be. Um, generally, the age range of the juveniles involved with Youth, Fit Youth Fitness Academy are um, ages 11 to 17. Um, we have juveniles that are both on the court's consent calendar program and um, juveniles that have been adjudicated and um, the charges range anything from a status offense you know, to a criminal sexual conduct and, and generally everything in between. Um, part of the healthy living is also just learning some life skills. So as we did earlier, you know, checkbook balancing, um, <laughs> the chickens are speaking up there, um, checkbook balancing as well as just learning about the importance of credit and uh, later on we're going to talk about um, automotive, you know, some just small things about car buying and things like that. So it's just kind of a, a general trying to take all the different aspects of life with health and all those different parts that are included. Just take one of these and pass it down. Okay. So that's your paycheck. That's going to tell you the amount that we're going to put in there. So it's, we're expecting to put it um, I think that these ones are all the same. <coughs> okay. So under payee, you would, um, I would write your name under payee, but I wasn't sure who was going to be here today, so you can write your own name uh, under uh, payee. So that's your paycheck from your first job. You want to log that on your um, check register. How much money, money did you guys make? $500. Okay. We do exercises and um, we do stretches, plus we do a chicken coop over here. We feed the chickens and... Well, we made the chicken coop and we made the garden beds over there. So they built the coop. Um, we've had the chickens in there now for uh, several weeks. They've been doing the feeding and uh, the changing of the water. They're very um, playful with the chickens. They like to be very hands-on getting in the coop and things like that. Also with the healthy living, we like to uh, teach the children um, some good eating skills and things like that. So we've discussed you know, healthy activities. They now have somebody that they're accountable to, somebody that they're that they feel that they've let down. And you can see the changes in it. One of the parts of the program is decisions to action. I tell them it's not a consequence, it's an opportunity. And you go to the first meeting and the, the kids, and particularly the parents who have to be there, are like this. Their arms are folded, they're ticked off for having to be there. By the end of it, uh, they're, they're talking about the experiences they had during it, and it's been a wonderful occasion for them to learn, and in that program, to learn how to be have a better parent-child relationship. Uh, very commonly family dynamics. You know, they come from um, homes that unfortunately, uh, you know, don't function as efficiently as they should. You know, and some, you know, one thing, uh, communication. Barriers in communication are a huge thing. And that's something that we address with the teamwork and team building and things like that. Um, you know, there's a lot of teachable moments when working with youth. Um, you know, perhaps somebody is not a good team player and likes to micromanage, you know, we can um, put that person in charge of a group and try to teach them techniques and um, leadership and things like that. Not, not just directing and kind of taking everything and doing it yourself, but how to delegate and things like that. You know, it's um, a real world teachable moment, something that you, know, you can't learn from a book. I think so many are um, not given these opportunities to shine and sometimes that fear of failure is very scary, but when we encourage them and when they see somebody else doing it and then they see that they can succeed, um, and you know, building on the chicken coop using uh, the, the power tools, you know, many were very frightened about that, but to see that they could do that and then the outcome, there's just beaming with pride. So I would say that, and then teamwork was huge. Um, just to see them build upon one another, use certain people's skills, um, they're again in building the coop. Some were good at, you know, the math. And so they would go to that person, they would say, how, how do I figure this out? And then the other people were better at, you know, figuring out we're gonna put this board with this board. So using those team teamwork things was awesome. Um, we do push-ups, sit-ups, pulling, pull-ups, uh, running, jumping. 
Um, we do team building activities, so uh, maybe different kind of puzzles and things like that. Um, we do team sports. We have some sporting equipment that, um, you know, if the individual or the juveniles as a group, if they earn the privilege of playing a sport, then we'll play a sport that day. I right, think about it. I think it's pretty cool. Cool. I like it. So I like our exercise. So we're very fortunate to have a forward-thinking um, judge and court administrator that allow us to build these programs that allow uh, you know the juvenile probation staff to assess the needs of the of the community. And one young lady was saying how much she enjoyed looking forward to having something to do every Monday and Thursday. And, and that gives them the opportunity. And our two probation officers have done an excellent job of building this program. You know, unfortunately, a lot of the youth that I work with, um, they feel like that they don't have anything to, to lose. They feel like um, you know, they're in trouble and they don't want to try harder because um, they don't really have any incentive to doing that. So we try to identify those strengths and try to, try to show them that there is incentive to, for doing the right thing. What are the benefits? Me getting more skin here. Tension. Extend to the left. March. Go get him up. Arms downward. Move. Left. Face. Extend to the left. March. Arms downward. Move. Right. Face. 